All right. So as you may or may not know, um, the new has that project is a remake of the, uh, this guy, which is uh, 2001 RID Omega Prime. And since I have the original ones, uh, the original toy, uh, I bought it brand new um, when it came out more than 20 years ago, which is crazy if you think about it. I figured, hey, I might as well uh, review them. And so here we are. Uh, we're gonna review them individually and then combine them. So let's let's do that. All right, starting with Optus Prime, um, and he's a red truck. <laughs> what a surprise! I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? <laughs> Anyways, uh, TLDR. I love this toy. In fact, I love the RID line. Um, obviously, uh, you know the one that preceded it was uh, at least in North America was uh, Beast Wars. I mean. Beast Wars are, is awesome, like for the show, but for the toys, yeah, I, I don't really, I, I wasn't into that. And uh, anyways, um, let's just get back to this guy. So, you know, he's big for one thing. Uh, if I line it up here, he's about, uh, what do you call this, 30 centimeters long, 31. It's pretty long, right? And yeah, and he's chunky. Uh, Although it's not perfect, um, and we'll yeah, go into that. But yeah, let's just uh, look at uh, much closely here, uh, starting with the front. So there's uh, some nice translucent windows uh, in blue screen, uh, a little bit of painted details there, some silver, some orange, yellow, um, a little bit of molded details, uh, but not a whole lot, unlike these days. Unlike these days also, this has uh, rubber tires uh, with some chrome wheels. Uh, um, again, kind of plain here because not a lot of mold details. Uh, you see some hinges here and there, right? And then as you go to, towards the back, you have the Autobot symbol there, uh, more rubber tires and chrome wheels. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, it, it, it kind of looks a little bit plain because it's just red all the way across right um with a little bit of details here and there uh at the back here uh you have again uh the orange yellow lights uh some silver bits here and there i think they're just steps or something maybe yeah and at the bottom you have some legs <laughs> some robot bits here and there uh and then at the top uh obviously there's uh uh the ladder uh, but before we go check that out you have a seat there at the very back and then on the other side you have a uh, ladder uh, there and you can see the head hiding uh, underneath there but yeah and then you have the ladder the ladder uh, can rotate really loud ratchets even now to the point that it kind of loosened up all the other connections because he's a parts former. Now it's falling apart. But yeah, anyways, okay, there you go. I get more, more on that later on. Um, back to the ladder, so you can do that. You can extend it like so. Uh, it's pretty long, so it basically doubles the length of the whole toy. You can also do this, right? and that's the all. That's a 15 inch TV, so <laughs> yeah, pretty impressive looking, you know. Is that uh, also it's it's spring loaded, right? So you can do this. There's a button at the back here, and then you have those uh, rocket launchers. Uh, there's also uh, projectiles, and they're really strong from what I can remember. I have the the, the, the thing that it fires in a in a box somewhere so also you can do this the front too so that thing flips out with a spring uh yeah so there's a lot of gimmicks here um but you know i'm saving one uh for last the best one uh which is yes yeah, so that <laughs> so lights and sound uh i think yeah so You can even see the speakers there, right, right there. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys these. Uh, there's some painted details here, like in silver. Uh, and then this one is not painted, it's, it's, it's gray. So that's kind of interesting that they, they didn't make 
that match. But anyways, oh, this takes uh, two double uh, triple A's. Um, so if you have the toy for a long time, it's good to remove the batteries uh, if you're gonna store it, because uh, the battery will leak out as mine did, and yeah, it might damage it. But fortunately, this is fine. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, now for the last light, uh, you can also already see this. There's, you know, a lot of things that just kind of flap out when you try to uh, play around with it. It might disconnect because he is a parse former. Like a lot of these things are just tabs and uh, uh, tabs or slots into places, and it's not the most solid connection. Having said that, none of the connection have broken for me, so which is good obviously right? so yeah it's a compromise yeah anyway so that's it and let's do some size comparison all right first one up is uh something modern uh, obviously the volvo prime or holiday prime in this case i don't have the trailer but i'm pretty sure you know how you know, that, that trailer is ubiquitous right and it's not very long but even then you can already see how much smaller and narrower uh the uh, the new toy is, and that's a leader class, right? So, yeah, I mean, times have changed, and <laughs> you can you can tell it by this. Well, obviously, we're gonna have to show our standard here, G1 Optimus Prime. Uh, lengthwise, they're about the same, um, but you know, the truck is obviously smaller. Uh, they just give you huge, huge trailers back then, and obviously, lots, lots of play value in there. Anyways. Of course, we're gonna have to show Scourge here. He's definitely longer. So let's just do that. So he's a couple inches uh, longer. Um, yeah, so you can see some difference in sizes there. Yeah, this guy is awesome. <laughs> Um, cool. Let me know if you want me to re do a, a retro review of this one as well, but yeah. What about a car? One of the Autobot brothers, uh, I believe Prowl. Yeah, so uh, definitely smaller, but you can see, I think that's that's a decent scale. Right. So, yeah. So, how much longer? So, he's, he's about like two and a half Autobot brother long. So, <laughs> anyways. Last but not least, uh, Ultra Magnus. Okay, so Ultramagnus is, is definitely longer. Um, yeah, uh, slightly. Uh, yeah, so we started like that. So, and yeah, they look great together. So let's go transform Optimus Prime. And he does have two ro robot forms. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is just detach the front cap, which is really easy enough to do because it's not attached very securely. So we can just put this aside and we can take a look at this later on. And then obviously, oh, I didn't show you this. Like you have this, uh, which is the gun. You can you can actually stow it there. And 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 the nice thing about stowing it there is you can actually <laughs> roll it around like this. So, anyways, you can pull that out. And he has a very interesting transformation. You just need to fold this to the front, like so. And then you basically unfold his entire body, like that. And then, uh, starting with the legs, you can flip up the feet. Then the other side. Yeah, so it's pretty secure. Now you fold it to the front, and then your body flips up and uh, fold up uh, the arms and then extend the arms down like, the, like that and then lastly you can just push the body down which exposes the head and I don't know if it did it on my no no I, I accidentally pressed the button there so yeah and that's pretty much it and then you can give him his gun which is a really small pea shooter. <laughs> that's just like, just like that. But yeah, so that's his uh, transformation. It's pretty simple. And yeah, let's go clean up and then we'll take a closer look. So there he is, the basic form of uh, Optimus Prime. I really like the design overall. You know, he has those <laughs> Voltron-like wings in the back there. Uh, really muscular look. Actually kind of reminds me of uh, 
um, uh, Beast Wars uh, Optimus Primal. Really chunky shins though, but it has some nice details there. But we'll take a closer look in a bit there. Uh, and then you have this big thing at the back there with the battery and the speakers. The big backpack. Um, you know, I just kind of, you know, side effect. But, but you know, it, you know it, there's a good purpose for that. Anyways, let's take a closer look. Starting with the head there, it looks really good. I like the shiny gold eyes surrounded by like the, you know, blue, actually sparkly blue. Um, Helmet and then the mount piece or yeah mount cover there in, in silver, and then you have in gray plastic uh, the antennas. Um, the chest is really nice too. You know, a lot of things going on right there. Uh, red chrome, blue chrome, silver chrome. The only downside, uh, I guess, the only negative there is that on the show there's way more um, uh, layers or I guess it looks more three D now. It looks kind of flat. Right? There's <laughs> and from the side, it looks pretty flat, unlike in the show. But you know, from the front, it looks great. And then you have his underwear there in gray with a little yellow there. And then you have the uh, white uh, thighs there. And then the, the 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 shins. You know, obviously you have some details here. This is the wheels, uh, the inside of it. A lot of. Uh, paint here I, again the silver the blue more silver is a little bit of yellow yeah so a lot of things happening there and then you have you know the windshield there and then the feet just kind of tiny feet just hiding there and then on the side you know at the front of the truck uh, just not much on the side here so you have this big um, uh, shell <laughs> there you still have the details on the back there and then you have yeah you know, uh, no hollowness <laughs> at this point so that is really awesome yeah one thing to note is this is pretty loose and it doesn't really tab in anywhere like it doesn't lock to anything so yeah so it's a little bit unfortunate but yeah and cool so for articulation you can uh, rotate the head all the way around you can go look down you can look up a little bit um, and then the arms you can do this for transformation, but you can do that for posing as well. Uh, you can go up like that, uh, and it can rotate at the biceps too. Obviously, the elbow bends 90 degrees, and then for the fist, it's a little bit hard because of you know the the, the panel there. But yeah, you can rotate it. So yeah, you can do that. And then for the waist, it doesn't really move, but you know if we extend him a little bit, so he can do that. Uh, no, that's from transformation, but you know then the head starts to go into the body. Okay. Now for the legs, he can kick to the side a little bit, but it's hindered by that. He can go pretty much all the way to the back and to the front. And his knees, oh, by the way, that was ratcheted too. And the knees are also ratcheted. It can do 90 degrees, uh, a little bit to the front. That looks like it hurts. You can also rotate uh, at the knees uh, horizontally that way. And then the feet uh, is in a ball joint, so he goes all the way around. And, you know, you can do a lot of things. Uh, yeah, so pretty good articulation. And this is 2001. It's amazing. Like a huge leap forward from G1. So what do you do with the rest of the truck? Well, you can convert it into a base. So the first thing you need to do is basically take it apart. This one is pretty tight connection for some reason. Oh yeah, there you go. So well, what you can do is flip this up. Flip it in, then you can have more stable platform there. You fold that up, make it look like a tower. You can you can expand this too. But uh, yeah, so we grab these ones, open it up, right? And then you can see that there's a turret here. So you can do that. Put that up. 
Yeah, so pop that back in. And there's a hole there that you can put in. So now, and then you can put these on in front like this. So then you do it to the other side, you just expand this and then point it forward like so. And then the arm or the hand, you just lay it flat like that. Put it down right here and put this there. You make sure the Autobot symbol is upright. And yeah, and that's your, your base. Man, that's pretty tall, but yeah, you can see. It. Press the button there so to flip it forward. Yeah. And then you can bring Octum Optimus Prime there to kind of man the base. And right, so, yeah. That's pretty interesting. I mean, obviously, it's. You know, <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, uh, Optimus Prime's other heads and chest are just. They are fully exposed. But yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Um, you can put the gun there too. If you don't want to do the base thing, you can just grab the very end piece of the right. So these ones, and then what you can, obviously you can see that there's missile launchers there. So you can put that on the shoulder like so. It doesn't peg in too tightly, but yeah, you can do that. It's so loose, but that is something you can do, and you can stand with that. All right? Uh, he looks pretty badass. I mean, <laughs> so still, yeah, something you can do. And but those are not the best modes. Um, so let's go power him up. Starting with the feet, make sure this is front like this, and then the tires are folded in, right? and then you can open this up and fl flip that out uh, this one goes to his uh, left and then now you can lock this in by pegging the front like that and same thing for the other side you can do that put uh, it in there there you go so you're pretty much halfway done um, Let's do the arm. So this one's obviously his right arm, right? So put that there and then close it up. Now you do the other side. Uh, same thing. Then fold that in, close it up, and point the gun forward as well as the hands. So now we just kind of huge legs and huge arms uh, and you can also pull apart the shoulders like so and then you can put the shoulder shoulder pads like that and we're pretty much done here so last step here at least for all this part you just pull this chest up like that uh, not necessarily all the way up but yeah and you have this three pegs here that will go into uh, this three holes here all right, so you do that. And then you fold this forward and this would also lock in place. Now for the big, yeah, it, 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 he tends to do that. You fold this down and then the, the very tip is folded back like that. So yeah, basically a tripod at this point. And you're pretty much done here. So there he is, and he looks so awesome. Um, yeah, really nice proportions and everything. But anyways, yeah, let's let's take uh, take take a spin here uh, just to see uh, the general outline of this uh, bot. And yeah, obviously it has a huge backpack right there. You know, with a ladder, you can still do this. Uh, I think he's learning low on battery already. <laughs> well, good thing he's rechargeable. But anyways, so yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool, right? Oh, so what do you do with the gun? Well, there's a hole. Uh, well, you can't really hold it, right? But there's a hole in his shoulder that you can just shove it in so you can get that look. 
yeah, again, it looks very awesome. But let's take a closer look, starting with the head there. Uh, again, he retains those gold eyes, or is it orange? But yeah, shiny, really nice. Uh, got some silver and some chrome on the head there. Obviously, you can mount the gun there. Then you have the chest, a lot of silver detail here. Kind of like a but bandolier is that what you call it? anyways yeah you can also open this up and then so you have that you can totally flash a nipple um yeah so let's close that back in we don't need to see that but anyways yeah you can totally do that um yeah so you have uh, more details there you retain the thighs and most of the feet as well i mean the legs lower legs but the feet is completely different now um some some more detail here some blue on the forearms and then you have the shoulder yeah so in terms of articulations it's pretty much the same except obviously there's some hindrance or a little bit less so the head can spin all the way around these are the ball joints so you can kind of look up kind of look down but not a lot uh the arms are pretty much the same except you have this obstruction here so it might be less now where the difference is is uh obviously the hands right but it's still the same you, you know uh, articulation is just easier to spin and you can move uh the the, the thumb in and out and that's pretty much it the legs are the same the main difference here is the feet you basically lose your feet articulation because you got this giant feet now to hold him in place right um yeah so that's pretty much it for the articulation but uh you can do this you can you can rotate that around to the side like that and the whole point i believe is so you can uh use this and then you can put it and then rotate it oh man that's a lot of ratchet so you can do that so now he's you know, sh basically a shoulder mounted cannon, right? And you can even kind of look like his old. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, see, this kind of happens, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> very flimsy, I know. But it's still very awesome. Uh, but once you get into position, he's, he's very awesome. Yeah. So he can totally do that. Yeah, so so he it's it's you basically shift the the ladder part to his right shoulder yeah so he can totally do that mm -hmm. all right let's do some such comparison uh, starting with our standard uh, G1 Optimus Prime obviously quite tiny how about something modern uh, laser Optimus Prime legacy I think yeah so also small what about the latest Armada Prime Commander class? So this Commander class is ever so slightly bigger. <laughs> so it's kind of depressing. All right. So what about some line mates? Starting with Scourge. Scourge is small. How about Megatron? Okay, Stan. Yeah. And finally, Ultra Magnus. Yeah, definitely Ultra Magnus is taller. I mean, with all them legs. Yeah, so that's how they look together. So that's Optimus Prime from ID 2001. Uh, I might be biased because uh, this toy holds a special place in my heart. It's one of the first toys I ever bought with my own money after getting my you know, first job uh, before going to college. Uh, but yeah, having said all that, as a Transformer toy, you know, there's there's a lot to like here. A lot of gimmicks, multiple modes. Looks great, very accurate to the show. Uh, nice paint applications, um, a lot of details. Uh, except for the truck mode, it's kind of plain, but it still looks pretty realistic. Uh, yeah, it's it just a blast to play with. Um, or even the, just to stare at, like like we are what we're doing right now. And then there's you can combine it with Ultra Magnus. That's just awesome. So yeah anyways uh speaking of which uh, i'll be making those videos as well 
uh, and Ultra Magnus and uh, and perhaps other RID uh, toys that I have. I have quite a few. It's one of the most one of my favorite uh, transformer toy lines. Uh, anyways, that's it. Uh, I hope to see you soon. And thanks. Bye for now.